or whether their season is over. What they're saying, Mark, is they have to win the fourth quarter. First down, Riders at their own 41. Joseph throwing to the wide side. He has the completion to Jason Armstead. And a gain of six yards. Let's check the third quarter statistics. Well, obviously the story is the five turnovers. I mean, two in the third quarter. Burris with the fumble. I mean, the blocked field goal by DeAngelis. And the fact that Saskatchewan at one time was down 21 to five is now only down by a single point. Two big plays to rally. A touchdown by Dominguez. And then this man, Kenton Keith, back in the game. He had that exciting 76-yard touchdown run to open the second half. The handoff is to Kenton Keith. And it looks like he's back to form on that second and four situation, very close to the first down. Well, they run the bunch formation, the three receivers to the short side, and they run the ball right behind him. They're just additional blockers, nothing fancy. There's the blockers right up there. They're just going to run out there, get a little seam for the explosive Kenton Keith to get through there, and he picks up the first down. The Riders need a healthy Kenton Keith, who accounted for 38% of their offense this year. And look at this so far today, averaging over 10 yards a carry, 123 and a touchdown on the ground. Double tight formation. Play action. Joseph dropping, throwing downfield for Hathaway, and Corey Hathaway can't catch up to the bomb. Incomplete. Corey Hathaway can't catch up to the ball because he stops running. Halfway through the route, he stops, and then he decides he's got to pick it up. Now, that, whether that is just a breakdown of communication between Kerry Joseph and himself, you see at the end, he's just not going to catch up to the ball, but in the middle of that route, he actually slows down and stops. So sometimes when that happens, there's a little miscommunication of what he's going to run and what the quarterback thinks you're going to run. Hathaway back in the lineup off the injured list this week at tight end. And that trick didn't work. Second and 10, Saskatchewan. Calgary blitzing. Joseph pumps, wants to go deep. He's in trouble and now will run, but won't have the first down. Takes a late shot from Scott Coe, who immediately looks at the officials and gets away. No flag. Well, he took a shot and he was just trying to bring down Kerry Joseph, but Kerry Joseph took a good shot on the left knee. And he, has, he is wearing a stabilizing brace on that left knee. He pump fakes, tries to get somebody open, and he takes off with the ball. Now, you're going to see just as you see, and that's, that's Raheem Abdullah, 53. There's that late shot from Cove. No call. Punt situation on third and four. Kanji to kick, standing at his 43. Luka Kanji angling it out of bounds. It won't get out of bounds. And there's Howell takes a hit from the rookie Lloyd as he made the catch at full stride. What a head-on collision. Well, Lloyd of London's might want to sell some insurance to Marcus Howell on that play. That's a great stick on the cover team.